Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Louisa at Star Corner. I'm Louisa and this is part of my series of visiting holiday accommodation in and around Norfolk. If you're not already following me I'd really like it if you subscribe to my channel. I live in Norfolk, I'm renovating my own cottage, I love interiors, I've got an allotment and a garden and my account is just generally about all of those things. If you follow me on Instagram, you may recognise this as somewhere that I share quite often. This is Sphinx Nest in Hunsworth. Um, I had the pleasure of staying here at Sphinx Nest last year, about this time last year actually, and um, I've also had the pleasure of photographing Sphinx Nest on several occasions too. And it is just the most wonderful bijou cottage here in Norfolk, close to Holt, not very far from Norwich as well, near to the sea. It's perfectly located, but to be quite honest, when you're here, why would you want to leave? So let's take a quick look at each room. As I've already said, Sphinx Nest is really small. So Anna and Alan, who own Sphinx Nest, have had to think really carefully about how they're designing each space. When you walk through the front door, you walk immediately into the kitchen dining area and uh, instantly it hits you, wow. It just, um, it's the colours, the textures, the reclaimed materials, the, the modern appliances, everything. You can instantly see how well thought through everything is. I think one of my favourite areas is the little dining area where they've incorporated an old pew along with chapel chairs and a beautiful old pine table and um, it just looks like somewhere that you'd want to sit and read magazines, drink tea, eat croissants. Probably my favourite area within the whole of the cottage. I don't know about you but when I go away I want to be surrounded by nice things. I want the experience to be aspirational but also to feel like home from home and the cottage just doesn't disappoint at all. So if we're still in the kitchen there's lovely vintage cups and saucers to use, falconware, there's a lovely stainless steel kettle and uh, modern appliances. So it really makes you feel as though you want to spend time actually enjoying the environment and um, they've, they've gone for really top quality bits and pieces which just makes the experience nicer. Moving on to the bathroom which is just off the kitchen and wow I know this is many people's favourite and I can see why. Um, I've never quite seen a bathroom quite like it in a good way and utilising a small space they've really crammed in a lot of punches. So the key bit here, the key element, is um, the sunken bath. It, um, it, they've had to, to make the most of a small space and um, utilising all the space that they've got. It's a sunken concrete bath incorporating a shower and um, it, it's, it's really magical. I didn't get a chance to actually utilise it when I stayed here because um, we were just enjoying the space and just ran out of time. But um, it, it's really great, really great. And I've seen many, many pictures on Instagram of people enjoying that experience. And, and also the colours in the bathroom are fantastic, carrying on the green theme. And there's the most amazing toilet um, where they've had uh, a beautiful Georgian inspired toilet seat built and uh, the cistern is really raw and it hasn't been refurbished at all it's in the state that it they found it so uh, it's a real experience the bathroom is fantastic and it really really enhances the cottage majorly. The living area where I am now is again another impressive space and it's hard to believe that one of the key features the fireplace wasn't here when um, Anna and Alan started um, working on this they actually took the cottage on as a as a wreck and they put a lot of effort into restoring pieces and creating something magical to make it feel as though it's been here forever 
I really love and admire Anna and Alan's decision not to put a television in Spink's Nest and I think that really enhances the living space with the two armchairs and a log burner and a sauna system. You can either listen to music or the radio or you can just sit in silence and enjoy the peace and quiet of this beautifully peaceful village and simply watch the flames of the log burner such a, a peaceful space and um, I think it's better for um, not having a television. The bedroom is a really really great use of space. They managed to put a bed into a really small space which can be accessed by the curtains that are either side of me, um, behind me and um, within the bedroom there's, there's a mammoth bed, fantastic quality thick mattress luxury bed linen and I can't remember the last time I slept so well than when I slept here at Sphinx Nest. I think you can tell I'm a huge huge fan of Sphinx Nest. I think it's bijou but absolutely perfectly formed. When I'm at Sphinx Nest I just really appreciate all the things, all the details, the colours, the fabrics, the vintage furniture, the luxury bed linens, toiletries, just everything is really well thought through and it's more than home from home it's just an aspirational stay but really comfortable too I've used this phrase before but it's like a hug when you walk through the door you feel as though you're having a hug and um, you don't lose that feeling until you leave I really hope you're enjoying this series that I'm producing showcasing some of Norfolk's best holiday accommodation and if you're interested in Sphinx Nest, I'll add a link to their website on the description of this story. And also, if you are enjoying watching me and you'd like to know more about me, you can find me on Instagram, Louisa at Star Corner. And there's also a blog available under the same name. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate your time in watching these.